The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Humans could breathe through their butts. I'm sorry. Back the truck up. You can't just say a sentence like that without any sort of a warning, sir. Listen, that's the type of headline you're not going to ignore, right? So there's a study in Japan that found humans might be able to actually do that, and it's for real. Come on. So I guess certain types of fish can absorb oxygen through their intestines to stay alive in emergencies. So scientists were like, huh, I wonder if mammals can do the same thing. Don't turtles breathe through their butts? Yes. Didn't we learn that on this show? Yes. They're not mammals, though. Okay. Okay. But the answer to that question is yes. Apparently, blood vessels in the old rectum appear to work the same way. So, in okay, so these experiments, rats, uh, they gave rats oxygen rich enemas uh, to see if their butts absorbed it. Are you kidding me right now? What did they do, like plug their noses and then see if they start breathing out of their butts? I don't understand this research. The blood oxygen levels did go up. And so they haven't tried it on humans, but the science would work the same way. But did it reach the lungs? Like, aren't we wired to where the breathing goes directly into the lungs, right? Right. Right? Is that? I don't think they're connected to our butts. Are they not? So Did I skip anatomy? I can't remember. They say that this could lead to new emergency treatments when people can't get enough oxygen into their bloodstream. Is to give them the old oxygen emina, emina, enemas. Enema. Enema. <laughs> I'm, I'm using the thumb motion. I'm, oxygen Stop. enema. Stop doing enema. the motion. Enema. Try to concentrate on your words. Enema. Okay. <laughs> So, the, really, the, uh-huh. that we can use to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, our blood needs oxygen, yes. But is that separate from the breathing that happens with the lungs? Yeah, Kelly, now you're asking questions I don't have answers for. Okay, I was going to say I was a comm major. I don't think we, we covered any of that. But this doesn't sound like that you could just, like, start plugging your nose and just see if you start breathing out your Yeah, butt. I think it's... Like, ox- I don't think that's the kind of thing. It's to increase do. oxygen levels in your bloodstream. So Okay, so it's not... You're apparently, not that's breathing. pretty Im- important. Like, that's not going to be a new option for you. No. <laughs> and it's only going to be used in emergency situations. And it hasn't even... Like, been tested on humans yet, but they're just saying the science is there. Okay. All right. All right. So, again. But blood oxygen, really, is what we're talking about. Right. But I'm just just trying to avoid someone saying, hey, you know what I heard on Ben and Kelly today? I can breathe out my butt. And then they start trying that. And then they're not successful. Uh, Right. And then we get blamed. (laughs) So, again. You come here for the music and the laughs, and then you walk away having knowledge that you didn't know you had. That's not knowledge. <laughs> Humans could potentially breathe through their butt. There you go. I don't think they can. That's not happening. Chris texts in and says, imagine CPR of the future. Oh, my God! <laughs>